Here, I created a smaller cut plate for my cobalt router using my OLM3 laser. The problem I had was that the plate's original hole was too large, allowing the material I had cut to fall through and not be sucked up by the dust collection. With an 8-inch digital caliper that I got from Amazon for about $25, I was able to determine the hole's width. This enabled me to use my OLM3 and recreate my own custom size plates. When trying to recreate any parts or create templates, you absolutely must have this tool. I was able to quickly recreate the base plate by using two layers of 3mm hardwood plywood that I laminated together, along with some a quarter inch wood dowels, and a small circle to keep it attached to the underside of the table. As you can see, the newly made base plate fits perfectly. Since I now have the template, I can easily make new plates in the future with any hole size I need. This will guarantee that my dust collection is operating at peak efficiency at all times. So let's look at the build's actual steps now. First, I used the Lightburn software to recreate the measurements I had taken with my digital caliper. For files I'll use in the future, I like to create art libraries every time. The base plate was cut out of 3mm hardwood plywood using the OLM3. Here I am using a speed of 225 and the power is set to 80. You can see that we made some really neat cuts because the wood just falls right out of them. Actually, the new base plate only required three pieces to be laser cut out. After that, I'll glue the plates on both sides with wood glue. The glue will then be evenly distributed across the two plates by rubbing them together. After that, I'll drive a, a quarter inch wood dowel into each of the two base plates keyholes. This will guarantee that the two plates are perfectly aligned. The excess wood dowel will be sawed off using a Japanese handsaw. I will repeat the process for the second wood dowel, but this one will push out the back about 3 mm. The reason for this is to attach the small round disc to hold it down to the router table. Now all I have to do is cut the extra wood dowel with the Japanese saw. I'll use a small block of sandpaper to smooth out the top where the wood dowels are after I've sawed off the excess material. Everything is looking good and is ready for a couple of coats of polyurethane spray. Once the polyurethane spray has dried, we can test fit the plate to see if it works. I'll start by installing the new custom 19mm plate in the router. Then I'll go ahead and adjust the fence on the router as I prepare it for a test run. As we can see, 
The new custom base plate did an excellent job of sucking up the majority of the material. I've recently found myself using the OLM3 to create a lot of things for my other tools. I consider it a new working tool in the shop. So as always, keep on burning and stay tuned.